I record the your Okay, start recording. Hello. Okay, uh, we continue our lesson. Uh, if you miss out uh, my lecture, you can uh, uh, look back again at uh, YouTube. Eh? YouTube channel, Happy Dulu Hanafi. Okay, uh, you can choose the folder uh, uh, discrete structure. Eh? Okay, for now, we are looking, continue uh, for uh, P and Q, eh? P and Q here, if you see, P and Q have uh, two, uh, okay, number of variables, okay, and then we can say that uh, two power of two is equivalent to uh, four, lah. okay, number of variables, okay, and then we have P, Q, R, and then 3, lah. 1, 2, 3, uh, 2, the power of 3 is 8, lah. okay, and then uh, after that, uh, we have uh, P and Q, okay, multiply by uh, 1, and then 1, uh, multiply by 1 is 1, lah. okay, uh, 0, uh, 0, 0, 0, eh, and so on, lah. Okay, uh, so far, do you have any question? Benson, is it okay for you? Benson, are you there? Tak ada dah. Uh, is it okay? Okay, uh, we continue. Eh? Uh, as you can see here, we have uh, uh, three uh, variable here. P and Q and R. Okay, uh, two power of three. You can uh, see here is the we have eight eh? one until eight eh? okay and then uh, here we have the truth table okay uh, p uh, q r p and q first okay and then uh, we can have p and q and r Okay, this one is the uh, another table. Okay, uh, if you have a uh, two power of zero is one, two power of one is two, two power of two is four, and so on. Okay, uh, same goes here. We have two power of four. We have a uh, sixteen. Eh? Sixteen. Okay. Okay, sixteen. Okay, how to generate a uh, truth table? First of all, you need to to identify uh, how many variables eh, available. Here we have three. Eh? Okay, one, two, three. Two power of three. Eh? Two will to eight. Eh? Okay, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eh? Okay. And then this one, truth table, P and Q. Uh, Okay, we can see here if a uh, true, uh, true and false. Okay, equivalent to true. Okay, and if the other is false. Uh, okay, repeat again. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, this one is the example. Uh. Okay, Maria learns discrete structure. Uh, last week, uh, I have explained. Okay, uh, Maria learns discrete structure is hypothesis and then we have Maria will find a good job. It's a conclusion. We have uh, first uh, hypothesis and conclusion. Okay, and then express the statement P implies Q eh, for, from the hypothesis to conclusion. Eh? If then, eh? if then, <coughs> and then implies. Eh? Okay, if Maria learns a discrete structure, then she will find a good job. Okay, this one is the first form. Uh, secondly, uh, Maria will find a good job. Okay, this one, you go by the conclusion first. If uh, she learned the discrete structure. Lah. Okay, this one is, uh, is a hypothesis. And then uh, Maria learned a discrete structure only if, eh? if only if, eh? IFF. Eh? She will find a good job. This one is conclusion, hypothesis, conclusion. This one conclusion follows by hypothesis. Huh? Okay, uh, so far do you have any question? Oh, okay, okay. 
Okay, if you uh, okay, you can uh, type one eh, in the chat uh, column. Eh. If okay, uh, just press one. If no, press zero. Okay, uh, this one is uh, <coughs> we uh, we imply we imply or we implement uh, uh, the hypothesis and conclusion eh, with the three <coughs> conditional statement. Three conditional statement. Uh, we need to find uh, three new conditional statement. First one is co converse. Okay, this one I have explained in the YouTube. Eh? Uh, secondly is uh, inverse. And then uh, thirdly is contrapositive. Eh? <coughs> okay, uh, I need uh, your favor when I uh, explaining the, the slide. Uh, please turn off your microphone. Eh? Please turn off your microphone because uh, it uh, will disturb the others to listen. Okay, we have uh, inverse, convert, converse, inverse, and contrapositive. Huh? <coughs> okay, what is a conditional statement? Conditional statement takes uh, if P then Q. Eh? If P then Q, where P, whereby the P is the hypothesis and Q is the conclusion. Eh? A conditional statement is known as an implication. This one uh, as a revision. Eh? Okay, uh, okay, if P then Q, okay, just if P then Q, okay, and then we have a P implies Q, eh? P plus Q, okay, and then uh, P implies Q, okay. Whereby the P hypothesis or uh, antecedent and Q is conclusion or consequence. Okay. P is hypothesis. Q is conclusion. Okay, this one is just a little uh, a reminder. Given a con conditional statement, we can create uh, related sentences, uh, namely as the converse, inverse, and contrapositive. Eh? This one is uh, the, the implication uh, after the conditional statement. Eh? Uh, they are related sentence because they, they are all based on the original conditional statement. Eh? Okay, converse, inverse, and contrapositive. Is basically based on the conditional statement. Okay, please uh, jot down, and then later you need to upload uh, either your your handwritten. Or you can find out any software. You need to upload to Padlet, eh? because uh, uh, if you need to revise later on, uh, you can uh, find out in the Padlet. Eh? Okay, please upload before ten uh, p.m. Eh? tonight. Okay, uh, for a given conditional statement, P implies Q, we can write a uh, converse eh? a statement by interchanging and swapping the rule of the hypothesis and conclusion of the original condition, uh, conditional statement. Therefore, the converse is implication P Q implies P. Okay, Q implies P. Okay, this one for the converse. Eh? Okay, which one eh? Uh, Okay, I write down this one. Okay, we have the conditional statement. Uh, P implies Q. 
Okay, we can write the converse statement uh, by interchanging or swiping. Eh? This one for converse. Eh? We need to interchange. Or swipe. Interchange or swiping. Eh? Uh, therefore, the converse is implication Q implies to P lah. Is it okay? Boleh ke? Boleh eh? Kalau if you don't understand, you can ask lah. Eh, uh, sorry about that. Uh, my uh, handwritten is not so good eh. Boleh baca cukup lah eh? Uh, kalau tak cantik tu minta maaf lah eh. Okay and then <laughs> Uh, notice that hypothesis P of the conditional statement becomes the conclusion of the converse. On the other hand, the conclusion of the conditional P becomes the hypothesis of the converse. Eh? The conditional statement, uh, if we go by the converse, uh, we interchange or swapping. Eh? Q uh, implies P. Eh? Okay, that one for the uh, converse conditional statement. Eh? Uh, please remember, when we talk about converse, it is a conditional statement. Eh? Okay, and then uh, second one, uh, the inverse of conditional statement. Eh? Inverse. Second one is the inverse. Eh? This one is the first one. Second one is the inverse. Eh? Okay. Inverse. Okay, uh, when you are given... When you are given a conditional statement, P implies Q, the inverse statement is the created by negating both hypothesis and conclusion of original uh, conditional statement. And then uh, the inverse uh, is implication negate P implies negate Q. Uh, this one for the inverse, uh, <laughs> we are negating, eh? negating. Negating by insert not lah. Okay. Not. Okay. And then uh, we have P implies Q. And then after that, if we inverse, we put negation P implies negation Q. Eh? Later in the sentence, we put not lah. Okay. Please remember in the... Okay. We put not. Eh? Okay, uh, so far do you have any question? Guys, Sazwana boleh ke? Megat? Megat boleh? Boleh. Uh, boleh. Jangan boleh belah cukup lah. Eh? Okay, uh, this one is uh, sorry about that eh, because you need to understand a little bit uh, deep. Eh? Uh, because in your final exam is uh, quite challenging. Eh? Okay, and then uh, the third one. What is the third one? The third one, contrapositive. Uh, contrapositive, eh? Okay, third one is contrapositive. Uh, sorry. Contrapositive, eh? Okay, for the contrapositive, suppose the conditional statement P implies Q, we compose the contrapositive statement by interchanging the hypothesis and conclusion of the inverse of the same conditional statement. Okay, in other words, uh, to find contrapositive, we first find the inverse of the given con conditional statement and then swap the role of the hypothesis and conclusion. Eh? Therefore, the contrapositive or the conditional statement P implies Q is the implication of negate P implies to uh, negate, uh, negate Q implies to negate P. Uh, first of all, we have uh, P implies Q. And then uh, this one is first step. Second step, you need to inverse eh? Q implies P. Then the third step, you need to negate. Eh? You, you need to negate, negate Q 
implies negation p eh? okay uh, in step here uh, in step 3 uh, sometimes you need to put a uh, not eh? not statement statement or you can have a negation eh? negate okay negation okay is it okay is it okay guys uh, <laughs> okay okay can i continue okay okay uh, and then this one is converse huh? uh explain again uh converse is conditional statement is a form uh, by switching the hypothesis uh, this one is uh, based on the statement, eh? uh, based uh, on the statement uh, and the hypothesis uh, generated by the uh, statement. Okay, and then I am sleeping, then I am uh, breathing. Eh? If uh, you want to uh, put in the converse uh, conditional statement, I am breathing and then I am sleeping. Okay, it is uh, just the reverse. Eh? Uh, before this, uh, I am explaining uh, quite simple, but this one in the uh, hypothesis, uh, okay, for the statement. Okay, for the inverse, uh, inserting not, inserting not, okay, uh, I am sleeping, then I am breathing. Okay, for the inverse, we need, I am not sleeping, then I am not breathing. Okay, this one is a second a conditional statement. And then for the third one, uh, contrapositive, okay, uh, is negating the hypothesis and the conclu conclusion of the inverse converse. First, I am sleeping and then I am breathing. Uh, second step, you need to converse. I am breathing, then I am sleeping. Then after that, number three, I am not breathing and I am not sleeping. Okay, this one is... Uh, uh, Benson, could you mind to mute your microphone, please? Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, and then this one is uh, another example. Uh, inverse, I am not uh, sick, then I am attending the class. For the converse, I am not attending the class, then I am sick. Eh? And then for the contrapositive, I am attending at the class, then I am not sick. Okay, this one is uh, another example inverse converse okay this one i have explained first okay and then later on you can see this one okay uh, the conditional statement uh, inverse uh, converse and contrapositive all have a truth value eh? that uh, we can determine if they are true or false eh? Okay, and then uh, two statements are both or uh, true or both false. We can say that having a uh, same uh, truth values. Uh, when uh, we have having a uh, same truth values, they are logically equivalent. Okay, logically equivalent. Okay, this one is the uh, conditional. If uh, m uh, less than a is thirty uh, degree, then m less than a is acute. Okay, this one you need to uh show in the padlet eh? later on padlet is some sort like uh, uh exercise eh? exercise uh, if you want to do you do if you don't want to do it's up to you eh? because uh, in university you are, you are not forcing to to learn eh? uh you you are forcing uh, you're not forcing to do anything it's up to you eh? if you want to success you do if not it's up to you eh? Okay, uh, same, uh, okay, the conclusion, eh? the conclusion, the conditional statement uh, and its contrapositive have the same truth value. Eh? Both are truth, both are in the true that are logically equivalent. Eh? Okay, later we see this one. Eh? Okay, uh, for this one, you should uh, underline eh, a portion of conditional statement, uh, either this one, hypothesis or conclusion. Eh? Okay, this one also you need to answer in the Padlet. Eh? Padlet. Okay, write down. We should go swimming either hypothesis, conclusion or neither one. Eh? <coughs> okay. 
Okay, I have uploaded the notes in the my guru. Eh? You should refer to my guru. Later, I will upload uh, in the Discord and also in the Padlet. So, same goes here. Identify the converse of the given conditional. If you like tennis, then you play on a tennis team. Eh? Okay, we have two sta uh, statement here. Okay, and then you need to go identify eh? either A, B, C or D. Eh? Okay, uh, also goes same goes for this one. Okay, and then uh, logically equivalent, eh? logically equivalent. Okay, here we have a uh, negative uh, P and negative Q eh? first, and then we have a uh, uh, P and Q. Eh? Okay, we have uh, two uh, power of zero to power of one. Eh? Okay, 2 power of 0 is uh, 1. 2 power of uh, 1 is 2. Nah. Okay, and then we have uh, first, uh, both uh, compound positions are logically equivalent here. Yeah. Okay, we have a uh, true value. Okay, and then we have a biconditional uh, hypothesis 1, uh, biconditional hypothesis 2, 1 and 2. Therefore, uh, logically equivalent, uh, both columns have the same truth values. Eh? Okay, first one and second one. Eh? Therefore, they are logically equivalent. Eh? All of the true value, it is uh, called as a tautology. Okay, tautology. Okay, uh, you need to understand this one. Eh? Okay, any question? Okay, tautology, uh, you saying the same thing twice uh, in a different uh, different uh, approach uh, or words. Okay, in a mathematical logic, tautology is a formula or assertion that is true in every possible interpretation. Eh? As we can see, uh, we have uh, uh, proposition 1 and uh, proposition 2 are same. Eh? False, false, true, 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 and true, and true. Eh? Both columns have the same truth value. Eh? Uh, therefore, uh, this one, we call it as a tautology. Eh? Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, do you have any, uh, any questions so far? Is it okay? Tautology is the logical statement in which conclusion is equivalent to the premise. Eh? Conclusion is same. Uh, same to the premise okay one and two is the premise okay and then uh, we can say uh, it's the same uh, same output here and here is same output uh. okay do you have any question when uh, okay no one okay, when they have the uh, same uh, truth uh, values uh, output Okay, same as uh, premises, therefore they are logically equivalent. Okay, uh, all are true value, it is called a uh, tautology. Okay, and then we have a statement and operation. Statement and operation uh, operators can be combined in any way to form a new statement. Lah. Okay, this one we have P, Q, negative P and negative Q. Eh? Okay, and then uh, we have uh, also C. Okay, true and false. True, false, uh, false, true. Okay. Okay, uh, this one also. Okay, uh, for this one we have uh, two uh, hypotheses here. One and two. Okay, and then uh, by conditional, eh? okay, it is a tautology. Therefore, uh, when you call it is a tautology, uh, it is a equivalent. One is equivalent to two. Okay, all value are the same. Eh? One are equivalent to two. Eh? Okay, can here see here is the same. Eh? Okay. Which conclusion is equivalent to the premise? Conclusion and the hypothesis. Uh, 
Okay, the premises is same to the conclusion. Okay, uh, okay uh, this one, uh, negate uh, P and uh, negate Q uh, is logically equivalent to uh, negation P and Q. Lah. Okay, this one is the same. Eh? same. Okay. okay, and then uh, we have uh, negation here. Negate uh, and then uh, bracket negate q okay tautology all of the values are true okay and then contradiction eh? all of the value are false okay contradict lah, for the x and then uh, for contingency combination of true and uh, false lah, contingency okay contingency are the values uh, combination of true and false eh? okay so far do you have any question Okay, uh, okay uh, I explain again for contingency. Eh? Uh, in uh, philosophy and logic, eh? uh, the state of proposition that are neither true under every possible uh, valuation. Eh? Uh, example, uh, here is the tautology. Uh, not false under every possible valuation uh, is contradiction. Eh? Contradiction. Uh, contingent proposition is neither necessary necessarily true or necessarily false eh? it is a combination eh? combination of uh, tautology and contradiction uh, and then they have a combination true and false eh? from the tautology and contradiction therefore it's called as a contingency okay it's a combination eh? combination Okay, this one you do in the Padlet. Eh? Padlet. Okay. This uh, exercise. Eh? Okay. Exercise. And then we have equivalent statement. Okay. Okay, this also the exercise. Eh? Determine the truth value for the following operation. Eh? Uh, P implies P and P or Q. Uh, P and Q implies P uh, implies Q. Uh, they are they uh, logically equivalent? Okay, you need to prove in the truth table. Okay, like this. Okay, please uh, do this one in the uh, padlet. Okay, if you have time and commitment, you should do. Lah. Okay, if you are busy, it's up to you. Lah. Okay. Okay, class, uh, we take a uh, five uh, before we continue to to another uh, chapter. Eh? Boleh? Kita rest sekejap. Lepas tu kita continue to uh, second chapter lah. Is it okay? Okay.